I recently heard someone say that most people are just walking around wishing they could have their umbilical cord plugged back in. Now, I don't think this is completely true, but I think one thing is certain. There's too much complexity in this world for any of us to want to handle all of it by ourselves. And so what do we do? We seek out leaders. I know in my life, in areas where I'm not experienced, things that I'm getting into that are brand new to me, I'm going to seek out a leader in that area. If I want to get in shape, I'm going to seek out a personal trainer, somebody who can lead me through the trials and tribulations that are inevitably necessary to get the result that I'm after. And so while I don't think most people don't want to take responsibility for themselves, I do think that if there is an area that is new to us, that is daunting, that is unknown, that is uncertain, that it helps tremendously to have a leader in place. Now, why does this matter for you? Well, I'm not telling you to go out there and seek a leader. I'm asking you right now to step into a position of leadership in order to grow your impact, your wealth, your contribution, and your sense of fulfillment in life. So that's what we're going to talk about today is how to explode your income using the power of leadership. Let's get into it. So most people, when they first get into making money online or starting their own business, they're really in it for what's in it for me. Honestly, in the in the internet marketing space, most people want to make as much money as possible with as little effort as possible. And these people stay broke forever because they're only concerned about themselves. And guess what? You are not the person giving you money. Somebody else is giving you money. Somebody once summed up how to make money in business, find the people with money and get it from them. Now, why would somebody give it to you? I usually picture someone in an auditorium with a stack of cash and me walking up to them and trying to give them a very good reason to hand that money over. Because if you have a good enough reason, they gladly will. Now, if you don't believe me, imagine that somebody sitting in an auditorium with $10,000, you drive in there with a Ferrari and you say, do you want this brand new Ferrari for 10 grand? they'll gladly hand it over, right? That's what's called a good offer. So it has to be a net benefit to the person handing over the money. Now, what I found the best way to be a net benefit to somebody is to become a leader in an area in which they want to progress. And so instead of thinking about what's in it for me, how can I make more money? How can I get these people money? Think, how can I lead these people to where they want to go? How can I shepherd them through the pitfalls, the dangerous valleys of obstruction, how can I take their hand and safely guide them to their destination? And that's how they will gladly give you money. Like I said, people are walking through life desperately looking for leadership in areas in which they're not experienced. Now, the first reaction most people have to this concept is, well, Christian, I don't know everything all the time. And they get very scared that if they step into a position of leadership, that somebody's going to ask them for something they don't know. And I was having a discussion with a friend about this a while, a couple months back, and we started talking about it and he goes, what if I don't know the answer? And I said, it's okay if you don't know the answer. Your responsibility is just to be an advocate for your customer, to have a fiduciary responsibility towards them. And if they need an answer, if they need a problem solved and it's in your domain of what you've promised them, you don't always have to say, I know the answer. Say, I don't know, but I will find out for you. And you can go and you can seek out that answer for them. So even if you're new in business, oftentimes when you have clients, they don't expect you to have answers to all the problems, but they do expect you to seek out answers to the problems. And so this friend, he said, yeah, I was just in Peru hiking actually. And our guide was leading us around and he led us off trail. And we were kind of wondering like where we were going. And after 15 or 20 minutes, he turns to us and says, Oh, you know what? I think the trail's back that way. And he led us back to the trail, but he had made a wrong turn. But this guy realized that, oh, it's okay if the guide sometimes makes a wrong turn. It's okay if he doesn't always have the exact answer of where we're going, as long as he takes responsibility for getting us there in the end. So another way to look at this, which I learned from Alex Sharfin, is defend and advocate. If you look at any group of people, they have enemies. They have forces of antagonism. They have obstacles that are standing in their way of success. And we can just defend that group of people, their values, obviously work with people who you believe in, defend their values and become an advocate for them, right? Advocate for the cause they're after, be an advocate for their success, stand up for them, lead them to where they want to go, step into that position of leadership. And so when you start doing that, people will take notice. They're going to start to follow you. They're going to start to want to hear what you have to say, and they're going to start to want to give you money 
so that you can take greater leadership for them in their life. The first way that most people can do this is start to say we instead of I, right? When you're speaking about your customer base, say we. When you're talking about your business, say we. Because I don't know about you, but in my business, it's not just me. It's my team. It's my contractors. It's my vendors. It's my customers. We're all in this cause together. And you have to start to think that way. It's not just my company. I'm not the only one that keeps it spinning day in and day out. It is just as much my team's company as it is mine. It is just as much my customers and my client's company as it is mine. Because our mission is we exist to provide value to all of those people, not just to me. If that was the case, then the business would have died years ago. Because again, if you think in what's in it for me, you don't get the money. The money is a byproduct of the leadership. The money is a byproduct of defending and being an advocate and providing value to everybody that the organization touches. You cannot chase the money and expect to get it. You chase the value, providing value to other people, and the money will come as a result. And lastly, I have spend time on vision. So if you're going to be the leader, you cannot be stuck in the business day after day. You can't always be doing all the tactical things. You have to be able to step back and have a 10,000 foot view and really evaluate. Take time just to get to know your customers. Take time to get to know your market and your competitors. Where is the market going? What are your customers going to want one year from now, two years from now, three years from now? Start to take a step back and have that high level vision and become the visionary, become the leader. Do the work for your customers so they don't have to do it. That's why they pay you money because they could go out there and they could do this on their own. It might take a lot longer. It might take a lot more effort. It might be a lot more uncertainty where they could just pay you to step into that leadership role and guide them exactly where they want to go. Take their hand, lead them through the dark, and you will be paid handsomely for it. So that's it. Leadership was one of the best hacks to success, making more money, having more contribution, more fulfillment in your work than I've ever seen. I remember back in 2017, I was struggling to get ahead in my business and I read a book on leadership and I realized, oh, the one piece that I have been missing is leadership. I never understood what it was before that. And all of a sudden I realized I have to step into a leadership role here. I have to become the leader and take my customers by the hand, lead them where they wanna go. And that changed everything for me. So go out there, try this in your business. Stop thinking about what's in it for me and start to think about what's in it for your clients, what's in it for your customers, what's in it for your team, what's in it for everybody else. And then just as an extension of that, you will start to get paid more. Start to defend your market and be an advocate for them. Lead them through obstacles, defend them against their enemies, and they will love you for it. They will become addicted to you. Start speaking in we, stop saying I, start saying we, we are doing this. We are experiencing this. We are overcoming this. It is not about you. It's about the team, the organization, the community, the movement. And lastly, set time aside every single week to spend time on vision. This means seeing the market from a high level perspective. It means getting to know your customers in detail, figure out their wants, needs, desires, and what are they afraid of and what's stopping them from getting what they want. And then take a look at the market. Where is it headed in the next one to three years? What about the next five to 10? And can you actually lead your customers where they wanna go before they know they wanna get there? As Henry Ford said, if I asked customers what they'd want, they'd say a faster horse. So you don't always want to ask your customers directly. It's your job as a leader to figure out where do my customers want to go and then provide it for them. Just like Henry Ford provided the automobile, right? He gave them the end result, but he didn't depend on them to have the vision themselves. So I do think people want to take personal responsibility for themselves, but we can't all take personal responsibility in every single area of our life. That's why I don't know about you, but I seek out leaders in the areas that are new to me and I want to get ahead. So be that leader for your customers. You will be rewarded for it. Let me know. Does this leadership hack help? Are you going to change things in your business? If so, what are you going to do? That's all for today. It's Christian, the work from anywhere digital marketing guy. See you on the next one.